How do you follow Will Smith? Well, uh, we'll try with the team bringing a whole new meaning to the term fast food. Just imagine ordering your favourite dish from the menu and then seeing it created using little more than a special 3D printer. A what, you might ask, and how does that work? Do you think it's an appetising idea or enough to put you off your dinner? Well, with me now is Arthur Mamu Manny, who's brought the idea to London. Thank you for coming in with said printer. While you get it started, talk me through how it works. Right, so this is a 3D printer. Just like any other 3D printer, you might have heard of the ones that print with plastic. This one has a syringe. Instead of printing with uh, plastic, instead of plastic going through and depositing, it's actually printing through a syringe that contains, you know, any kind of food that is a bit liquid. So chocolate, uh, you know, guacamole, hummus. So what I'm doing now is I'm selecting one of the files uh, that I'm printing. So we downloaded these files. One of them says London and I'm going to press print. And so the machine goes around and adjusts itself and then deposits the, you know, the food according to a kind of pattern that we designed in the computer. It's, it's mesmerising to watch. I saw it working earlier. The question then is, why? Why are we uh, now printing food rather than making it with good old-fashioned pair of hands? I don't think we're replacing food per se. I think this is more of an experience to take food in another level. So there was, uh, you probably heard of molecular food. This was a trend, El Bulli. Now we wanted to collaborate with those chefs at Food Inc. in order to bring it to another level and bring almost like a geometrical food, an, an architecture of food. Yeah, because you haven't got a, a foodie background and you're not a technology geek. You are indeed an architect. Yeah, and it kind of makes sense, uh, to me at least, uh, because 3D printing was present in design and architecture for a while. And so it only made sense to use the new kind of technology on food as well and try to create a new kind of food that has structure, a bit like buildings, so that you would experience food not just for the content, but for the geometry itself. You've tried this out on customers in London in a pop-up restaurant. While we see that printer in action, we'll see the finished product that you made uh, just half an hour ago. And, and tell me, what was the reaction of the customers, firstly to the, to the food itself and also to the process? I think the customers are mesmerized by the machine. They see a machine that follows a kind of pattern that was pre-designed and they just see it doing this really slow movement and kind of precisely depositing things that they're used to see in a much more, you know, in your kitchen, you're all kind of messy and everything is happening. Whereas here there's this kind of machinic thing happening. And so it's a bit troubling. People are asking questions. Is it going to replace my food? I don't want robots to cook for me. And, um, and it, you know, it's just about explaining and I'm here to explain and, and show what the future could be. But, you know, it's not as scary as it seems. Like you said, you still need humans to operate it. Look, it's beautiful what you have produced, but it did take quite a while, doesn't it? Do you think for this to be used in any way in a mainstream setting, because robots are used in food factories, aren't they? It would have to get quicker, or is this just the novelty element? As you said, we've gone from the kind of the steam creations and the strange ice creams now to this. I think it all takes time to uh, kind of, you know, develop itself. This was a very first generation printer. Um, we are kind of pushing it to uh, more advanced printers. For example, the designed uh, stools and cutlery, all these are done. Yeah, it's not just the food in this restaurant exactly. and now you want a permanent base in London if you can get one. A permanent base in London, we would like to spread this into other cities in Europe. Um, yeah, and print everything around you to show you the potential of linking a computer file with objects. I've got no time to taste it but it's been a really fascinating experience. Arthur, thank you so much thank for coming in much. with your food, thank you.